Okay, so I thought I'd do a bit on the um, laser engraver uh, repairs and upgrades. Uh, we're going to do this today. This is the belt um, keeper, I suppose is one way. Normally, I'll show you, so that's what it looks like when it's finished. I've done one, just to check that I was doing it right. Okay, this is obviously uh, one side. Oops, you can see some bits cut out, which I'll go into the belt. And we also need this. I mean, um, you can use, I'm just using scissors. Obviously, there's different ways to do it. It can be a bit rough. As you can see, you can always put it down with um, a sharp, well, something with an edge and that can make it look a lot better and neaten it up a bit the other side so that's one way to clean up uh, PLA um, PLA is a bit hard to work with at times it's, it's not the nicest material to work with when it comes to sanding and things like that that feels okay obviously I could spend, so I could spend more time doing it but um, I just want to get on with this a little bit. Okay, so there's the other one. So there's one that's done. Let's go to one that hasn't been done. Okay, and that's it there. Um, let's move some of the bits out of the way. Keep what we want, just so we know where we are. Okay, so this is really, the belt is actually held down with... Um, just to screw in a nut really so it can damage the um, you can damage the belt as you're doing this because uh, it bites into the belt right I'm just trying to I mean whoops there you go um, we're gonna have to take undo this anyway so let's undo it now there's different ways to apply these so if you get it wrong the wrong one in the wrong order you'll get the belt wrong and it took me a while to figure it out okay so the let's see the bottom of the belt has that bit um both basically the same i guess the other thing we might want to do at the moment is just make these holes a bit bigger when i did the other one um it was a bit smaller than the nut it did go through but it was a bit rough so let's clean that up a bit not really worried about what it looks like okay so that's good let's do this one i mean you can use a drill i suppose but it's easier just to use this easier and quicker Okay, so they're the two pieces that's your belt now on the flat piece it doesn't matter which side goes through really so I'll just do it that way I think you push the belt through is a bit of a tight squeeze or it was on the other again let's see if we can make it slightly bigger it's only where it's squished against the plate a little bit it's caused it to um, uh, be a bit bigger now it's gonna go that way on the ends so that's, right, so that's going through I don't want it too big um, otherwise it might get not work so well after that so the belts underneath it coming up through it what I'll do is I'll put it there you then put this bit on top, which has got the uh, notches. And that can go there. That then goes through it. Let's start screwing it through. Now, the only thing I did find is if they're too thick, you won't actually reach the nut underneath. So hopefully it will pick it up. is right so that's now in that's oh, oh it wasn't yeah there we go 
that's tightened. What I've now got to do the other end is do the same thing, but um, tension it. Uh, so I should do that now, I guess. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to do certain things because I know I've got to maybe take them off again later on. But I suppose it's not a problem, just undo that and it can go back on again. So I'll show you the other side and how I think you need to tension it. Okay, so here we are on the uh, alternate corner. So here we go again. I've cleaned it up a little bit. It goes through. Now this is where I suppose you've got to get your tension right. Now, I would say the way it is, you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it loose as well. So I would say leave it there. Do it so that when it comes back, you've got the smallest of tensions on it. I'm gonna to have to check the band, I think. Yeah. So I would say hold it like that. Maybe just a little bit away, maybe a bit more than that. Now when that goes down, that seems about good. Try that. I mean, the thing to do, I suppose, is lift it up a little bit so it is a little bit away. Like that. Obviously, there's a gap there. Again, teeth go down. And it goes in. Hmm. Screwdriver. Just to get it through. Hopefully it's caught on the nut. Well, it has. Now that little bit of play there, the two or three millimetres, is enough to um, adjust it. Now it's a bit hard to say. I've heard you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. I would say it was a bit too loose. So I can pull it back a bit now. I think to the end and see what that does. I'll sort of move the camera now. So I think that's it. And what I'll do is I'll tape it down or something. I mean, I could cut it, but I'd rather leave it as long as possible. And so maybe even just tie it down there so it looks a bit better. All right. The tension I think you need. Let me look at the um, belt. That's the belt. You don't want it too tight that it does, you know, that you just can't move it. And you know, so you need a certain amount, otherwise, if it's too tight, you're gonna put a lot of um wear onto this bearing or motor here. You know, I'll try and if I pull it really tight, it just makes everything a lot harder to go. It, uh, it might even cause problems in how it finishes up. You know, if it's not, if it's too, it might struggle and actually go out of um, line. So that seems to be right. I'm saying that. I can still see. I'll see how that goes, but again, see that seems to me that's too loose. Now I don't know why that's too loose. That's there. What I'll do? Let's go. Um, need to undo that screw again. Then. Okay. Let's unscrew it a bit. I guess the thing to do is make sure you have enough out the first time. Right. So I've left, given it five millimeters this time on this one. Right. Now I've tightened it. Okay, let's see if that's any better. Okay, so I pulled a bit more through and um, now stretched it. See, now I get the feeling if I hold this. See, I think that might be too tight from what I've seen. I mean, it seems to run okay. 
but again we don't want it too tight there should be a little bend so I'm sort of tempted to release it just that little bit to um so that's it there you could say that's not a lot of give so I'm gonna give it a millimeter this end so move it in just a slight bit tighten it up let's see if that's any better see now I just feel that's I've got a little bit that's just got that little bit more play to uh, make it run a bit smoother say too tight and you're causing just as many problems as if it's too loose and you're stressing the motor out as well so I'm gonna leave it out like that and do the same for the other side so that's that job done okay Okay, we are now on the top belt. Or where the lay normally it's underneath. I've um, flipped the rail upside down. That's the laser point. Okay, so I've done the top now at each end, or the bottom at each end. Or X, I suppose you call it the X axis. Um, as you can see there, to me it seems a bit loose. So I'll just loosen it up on the end, pull it out a little bit, clamp it down. It's taking a bit longer than I thought. Just because the nut is turning. Okay, is that any better? See now there's a lot less tension. It's not impossible to move. So I would say that was good. It's not hard and it's not easy, so I would say that was right. I'm gonna have to sort something else out as well, though, because um, the nut is actually turning. Oops. That nut is actually turning underneath there, so it's gonna come loose. Um, I don't know if there's any way to see the more, and all that's happening is it's turning in the actual rail. Okay, so that's that job done. A um, bit long-winded, but the idea was to um, show you everything step by step in case you have a problem. Um, sometimes if uh, people know what they're doing, they skip all these things and you don't really, um, they don't actually help you. They're very intelligent, but at the end of the day, they're not giving you, if you're a beginner, what you need. Okay, so that's that. Like I say, I still have to um, sort out the wobble. Oh, sorry, sort out the wobble. Uh, people do say that sorry, having this system is better than the original system where they just nail it down because when it's nailed down, it's actually laying on the bottom. Um, but when it's like that, it's actually being raised above and it actually makes more sense. Oops when it comes to that moving along it's it's gonna glide better apparently okay so that's that job done um, please like subscribe ring the bell button uh, you can always leave a comment and I will try to get back to you if I know the answer um, the next thing we got to do is sort out the board and the fan okay so this is gonna be another day but um, Okay, so there's the boards. We've got the fans. The board fans. Box of PCB. Um, we've got the fittings that I can put on the PCB to um, connect these fans to, and then that will be connected to the power supply to power the fans. Okay, that's in the next video, I guess. Keep, uh, I say, ring the bell button, and um, we'll do that next time. Cheers. Bye bye.